In this video, we will discuss import events. Import events display each of the imports a user has done and stores it in the survey database. The import events functionality not only gives you a record of the imported survey data, but it allows you to quickly reprocess the survey data if external survey files or civil 3D settings and styles have changed. Let's click on the survey tab and create a survey database. To create a survey database, simply right click on survey databases and click on new local survey database. We'll call this one Proj1 and click OK. A new survey database is created with all of the different collections available to add data to. Before we go any further, let's make sure we turn on the change log. That way, anything that we do to this survey database will be recorded. To do so, right click on the survey database and choose Edit Survey Database Settings. Scroll down to Change Reporting and turn on Logging Enabled. Click OK. Any changes you ever make to properties or import events automatically get saved in the survey database. If you actually needed to remove the survey database, you would actually have to find that location under C colon civil 3D projects and actually delete the folder. Let's import some survey user settings for this specific data set. Before we actually import them, please make note of your settings down below here. Note where your figure defaults are set to, note where your line work processing defaults are set to, and so on. Go ahead and click on the import settings from a file, and let's go ahead and navigate to our data set location. This is under C colon, Civil 3D Projects, Learning AutoCAD Civil 3D Infinite Skills, Survey, and click on Infinite Skills Survey User Settings and click Open. What this has done is defined a location for the figure prefix database and use the one defined for this data set. Go ahead and click OK. And now that's defined. Now we're ready to import some survey data. Right click on Import Events and choose Import Survey Data. You can create a new survey database, but of course, we've already done this. Click Next. Navigate to the point file format. We'll look at P and EZD. And the data source type that we have is a point file. But notice the other options available. Click on the plus sign to navigate to this file. The first one we want to bring in is points-eg.csv. Go ahead and click Open. Click Next. Click Next. And this is the summary of everything that we've done so far. Civil 3D is giving you a final opportunity to change them. First off, we want to make sure we're using this figure prefix database. Process line work during import, yes. And we'll go ahead and give this import event a name and we'll say topo points from GPS. Verify that the insert figure objects and survey points is toggled on. And we'll go ahead and click finish here. Because nothing was in this file, Civil 3D will fit the drawing into your view. Notice how all the line work came in automatically and of course, all the Civil 3D points. Now what we want to do is we want to actually bring in the bridge points that were located, let's say, maybe on a different day. Right click on import events and choose import survey data. We'll click next. We'll navigate to the point file. It's bridge-points.csv. Click open. Verify that we have the PNEZD. Good to go. Click next. No network. Click next. And for this one here, we'll just say bridge points located on the date. Click finish. If you get this error that says duplicate points were found in the file, all you have to do is click on Resolve All and it'll actually increment the points as needed based upon the next point number within the file. Notice how Civil 3D will actually warn you and tell you of this error. And if you navigate to the end of your event viewer, you'll see that you can actually zoom to that location. As we can see, the bridge data was brought in. Let's go ahead and change our view to a isometric type view by clicking on the view cube like so. And notice how it also brought the pier figures in. Well, it turns out that our project goes up to the abutments of the bridge. We don't need the piers. We do, however, want the line work at the top of the bridge. So let's go actually into this text file, remove these points, and let's see what happens. To do so, simply right click on the actual import event and choose properties. Notice this option that says file. You can click on this little browse button. It actually opens up the file. What we need to do is get rid of any of the points that begin with the letter X. So we'll go ahead and do a control shift end to select them and press delete on the keyboard. And now let's go ahead and actually save this file. Close out notepad, click cancel on this, and you can simply right click on there and choose reimport. Make sure we have all the settings we want and simply click OK. And it'll warn us that the points are duplicate in the drawing. Go ahead and click apply to all duplicate point numbers to override them. Because again, we're just overriding the point that we just brought in. Click OK. And now as you can see, the data is up to date. Let's go ahead and change our view back to top view here. To see any of the changes that you do to a survey database, you can review the change log. This is why you want to turn it on prior to creating any kind of data. 
go ahead and right click on Proj1 and choose Display Change Report. The change log is an HTML file that will open up in your default browser. Again, showing you everything that has occurred whenever you make edits to your survey database.